horror has a face, and you must make a friend of horror. Horror and moral terror are your friends. If they are not, then they are enemies to be feared. They are truly enemies. I remember when I was with special forces, seems a thousand centuries ago. We went into a camp to inoculate some children. We left the camp after we had inoculated the children for polio. We went back there, and they had come and hacked off every inoculated arm. There they were in a pile, and then I realized, like I was shot with a diamond. A diamond bullet right through my forehead, and I thought, my God, the genius of that, the genius, the will to do that, perfect, genuine, complete, crystalline, pure. These were not monsters. These were men. These men who fought with their hearts, who have families, who have children, who are filled with love, but they had the strength. If I had ten divisions of those men, then our troubles here would be over very quickly. You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time, who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling, without passion, without judgment, without judgment, because it's judgment that defeats us.